Yeah, let me. Uh, I don't have this. I don't have this sound, but uh, we were talking about the refs earlier, and since we're talking about Smart, here's Smart when he took the podium today, uh, talking about uh, Embiid and the refs. Uh, it's tough, especially when we've got our hands up a lot of the times and he flails and gets the call. And then down the other end, we've got our guys attacking the rim, getting contact, and we're getting no whistle. Tough to play like that. It was a reversed. I do it every time. Um, you know, it's hard not to get in a rhythm when you shoot 21 free throws alone. It, so basically, Embiid shot 21, we shot 20. Can't win like that. Um, but he's not wrong. It sounds like sour grapes, but, it, you know, it's... It was a tough whistle tonight. It was. A and really uh, tough whistle. Embiid got it every time and a lot of times where it's like you could have just lebron treatment you could have just yeah, called bro. it basketball two people you don't have to call if this is another thing refs has struggle with you don't have to call a foul every time two bodies touch sometimes <laughs> it's just part of basketball so just right. because he drew contact doesn't mean it's a foul there is bumping and 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 and, and they're, they're going to bang up against each other in the post it's part of the game it's not always a foul but every time there's any contact with Embiid he does the flail and he gets the call it's it's unbelievable it really is impossible it's impossible when the whistle when yeah. the whistles when the whistles that sensitive right and it, it's it's two very large human beings going up against each other like bodies are going to are going to hit each other and like they'll be okay like they're not they're not hurt like let them play on they're they're two guys that are you know yeah. one's trying to score on the other like let, let play the, on like you know what i mean like it wasn't even mb the one that the one that pissed me off the most might have been harris and tice harris up fakes and looks to pass and tice kind of bumps against him while he's making the pass and they blow a whistle he's just passing the ball he's <laughs> yes. not even trying to score <laughs> you <laughs> didn't even see his intention no to way each you other on that. they yeah. touched bodies like right. that come right. on with that foul like, I'm thinking too. Refs, there, there was a transition sorry, play for Green. Uh, I think it was Brown who got really tied up. I, you guys probably remember that play. No whistle there, and I said, "All right, this is going to be a tough whistle." But you have those games throughout the year. This was almost the opposite of that first Detroit game. They had that incredible pace, ton of physicality, and they weren't blowing the whistle there. So you do. I think what happens, John, is you set a tone and you start calling them. And all of a sudden, you have to match it both ways, and all of a sudden, the whistles start you know piling what? up. Make him pay for it, though. That's the whole thing. I hate that. You're gonna let a guy go to the if if Embiid goes gets 21 free throws next time. I want him to have at least seven or eight bruises when it's over. Like right. you're gonna if you're gonna foul a guy, foul the f out of him, okay? And <laughs> and, and make him count. earn it down there. Those are the worst. He's not even working hard there. He's literally catching the ball, and he turns around. It's tweet. You know, like that's, yeah. that's fine. You want to play rough. You want to play physical. Absolutely. Bang him up next time and make him earn the free throws. He's got, it's, that's going to be in his head a little bit. This is the worst, you know, that's this is Al the worst case or just, you got to trap and double a little bit. Also one thing Thompson was struggling with for sure. He was letting bring back out. <laughs> huh? Joe exactly Sway was saying, what, bring what, back you're, what you're describing is exactly what Al did. Yeah. You know? he, he, he made a hard Baines, for example. He, he touched him up, you know. Baines, after a Baines. while. Oh, man, he, another you, one, yeah. You just got tired of slamming into him. You would posterize him six times in the first half, and by the <laughs> second, you're like, I don't want to play against this guy anymore. <laughs> that should be Thompson. That should, that be, Thompson. should be Thompson. And we talk about, oh, everyone wanted Baines, and nobody wanted him, and he had an awful game when we saw him here. But, like, if you're serving a role, you have to fill that role, okay? Right. And if you don't, then what then what good are you you know yep. that's the problem is thompson would be fine if he was that guy but i mean he looked like a he looked like a guard out there trying to get against him. it didn't even look close if phys physically i mean no one can match up with him physically but we've seen guys do it you know with baines and with horford yeah. that aren't 7 2 270 pounds i mean baines is a brick wall uh hey, tristan's not that guy it's too bad we didn't get a chance to see robert though i was looking forward to that yeah he he so going back to not, that not, not necessarily one on one, but as a complimentary defender, you know, down low. Go ahead, Bobby. Going back to that preseason game, he did show a little something on Embiid, and that was kind of an Embiid game where he was just jacking up shots preseason, practicing his jumper. wasn't as much. I mean, Embiid brought it to the post tonight in a way you don't always see from him. So maybe it wouldn't have gone well from Rob. Rob's known to foul. 
But again, when we stack it up, Rob has given more consistent good minutes, especially defensively on the boards and shot blocking rim protection, certainly than Thompson has. So you can't argue that he wouldn't have been a better option tonight. I went into the numbers on Rob before this game because I thought Rob was actually going to play. I believe he is second in offensive rebounding percentage and in the top 15 in defensive rebounding percentage. So he's been among the best rebounders to start this year. We know he protects the rim. The question with him in this matchup would be, does he foul as much as everybody else? And the way the whistle was flying the night, he probably would have had five, just like Grant Thompson. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Totally did, see that. did Grant Williams play? Started. I was thinking I that. Right? I was thinking three. that. I know he started and he hit a three, and then I remember nothing else. The only right. thing I remember is they tried to get him a post up, and it got completely cut off into a bad turnover. And that was the only thing I remember him doing all night. And that sums it yeah. up. Yeah, see, sixteen <laughs> minutes, one of three. He hit that three pointer. That was it. He feels irrelevant at the four, besides taking two threes and hitting one, which is what he does some nights. Like well, he used him on Friday, man. We, this team needs Tatum. Yeah. Yeah. I think this, I mean, this, yeah, this no week doubt. answered it. You got the Magic, who were missing seven players in their own right. You can kill them with Brown and whoever. The Knicks come through. I mean, they're probably a mid-level team this year, and they destroyed the uh, Celtics. And then tonight you get a spectacular game from Tice and Smart. They buoy it a little. But if you don't, if you get half as much as that from them, this is a blowout too here. And in that first quarter, second quarter, I it started to get up by eight. I think Philly did. I said this could turn into an, you know, not a Knicks game, but another blowout here. So the importance of Tatum and credit to Brown, he held them up for large stretches of this game. He's been good with Tatum absent. Uh, smart Kemba giving them good stuff here. But the team is so central to what Tatum does. It's if he's here, they're good. If he's not. They're, you know, a low-end playoff team, if that. <laughs> so. I wouldn't. I hate pickles. Me too. I'm I'm good. I hate I hate pickles, pickles are I despise. I despise. Wow. Here comes the are very you snacking, snacking food. Oh, I've heard you, that. I've heard that. But they're I'm awesome. Like, they're they're salty and, 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 and oh. they're, they're great. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. Sound weird. Back on the middle sound weird. You feel like eating something but don't want to have a lot. Pickles are awesome. about- it's, gonna, it's gonna sound weird because I love I love uh, tartar sauce, but I, I I can't do pickles straight.